So, I was doing this project and I got really interested in this idea. Uh, this is a quote from Carl Jung and it says, one without a myth is like one uprooted, having no true link either with the past or with the ancestral life which continues within him or yet with contemporary human society. To know your myth is the task of all tasks. And um, I became really interested in this idea that like of all the stuff that we do in our lives, you know, we make art, we make money, we make kids, we make families, we travel, we start companies, all of the stuff that we do, that in some way all of those things fit into a larger container which is, um, which is our life story. And that, that thing is actually what we're creating. The story is actually what we're creating. And that all those things are like chapters and aspects and facets of the story, but actually the creation is, is the story, the larger thing. It's like life itself as being the thing you make, the, like your work of art. Um, and I think that when you start to see life that way, it has a big effect on how you live your life and how you spend your time and the type of choices that you make. And I think you make choices much more deliberately, much more consciously, and um, you think of yourself as kind of like an actor in a piece of uh, theater, which is, which is your whole experience of living. And, um, and I, I got really interested in that idea, and it seemed to stand in such stark contrast to the kind of increasing, increasingly frantic and fractured nature of um, contemporary slash online existence where it's just like constantly things barraging at you and you never have this dance chance to take a step back and like see the big bigger picture. Um, so I, I was thinking about all of this and um, at the same time I was doing this project every day of posting a photo onto my website and writing a story and, um, and I started to feel the cost of this particular line of inquiry which was that like there is this trade-off because the more that you document your own life the more you check in, the more you tweet, the more you post photos of what you did last night, the more you do all this stuff, or even in my case, the more you listen for little lines of dialogue that could make their way into stories, and the more you photograph moments, in a way you start to step out of those moments. And if you do that too much, you kind of become a spectator to your own life, and it's very hard to actually feel like you're engaged with it. And, and I started to feel that myself. Like I started to feel really disconnected from my relationships, from my family, even from moments. I, it was weird because I was simultaneously hyper aware of what was going on around me, but also feeling outside of it, like I was just watching. Um, and I really started to um, feel like a prisoner of this project and a prisoner of self-documentation. And so there is this cost of never feeling alive when you, when you do too much of this documentation. So I think there's a middle way here. 